everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet and today I want to show you how to do a sort of 40s inspired updo. So I'm going to start by parting my hair and I'm going to kind of take a section in the front and the thing is the part in your hair is going to be very visible. You're going to be able to see it so you want to make sure that you get a nice straight part in your hair and I am using a trusty old rat tail comb for that but really any comb will do and now if you want to go more retro get a nice clean part if you want to go a little more funky and modern you know a messy part is fine the back of it for right now I'm just gonna take the rest of my hair I didn't bring a clip but I would clip the front of my hair just to make it easier I'm just gonna take the back of my hair right now and I'm just going to kind of put it in a ponytail just to pull it back. For the front of my hair, I'm going to smooth it out. And I like this look to be really smoothy and shiny. If you like it to be a little messier, then you can feel free to do it that way. There really are no rules to this. Uh, so I take my trusty glosser. It's um, Rusk being undressed. And I just kind of smooth it over the hair. Some people like teasing the hair. I actually have this cute little teasing comb. Just a little bit helps to kind of get it a little messier so you can, so your updo will stay a little bit longer, but I don't go crazy with this. Now, what I like to do is take my curling iron. My hair was preset before I did any of this. I just did a basic um, curling iron roller set because it's my preference, but you could always use hot rollers. I curl it under, take it out, just kind of take it, the curling iron out very gently, kind of roll it. I kind of do mine off to the side a little bit. If you don't have a curling iron, you don't want to use a curling iron, of course hot rollers will work too. Try to tuck all the hairs where you want them and then just start pinning like crazy. And again, if you want a more modern look, you can feel free to let the bobby pin show. If you want something a little bit more um, traditionally retro vintage then make sure you hide the bobby pins because they didn't let their bobby pins show back then. And now that you have the front and this little roll you can do it in the middle. I do mine kind of off to the side because I kind of like my hair off to the side a little bit more. Uh, but you could feel free to do it straight down the middle if you feel like that looks better for your face shape. As far as the back, I mean you can do almost anything you want with the back. You can leave the back down that's kind of a cute look. My hair was kind of preset with rollers, so it has a little bit of a wave to it. A little, it's curled under a little bit. I think that can look really cute. Um, you can also pull it back, just into a basic ponytail, which also looks really cute when you've curled your hair under. And you know, you can either get like a bright colored elastic, or you can take one of the hairs from your ponytail and wrap it around and pin it. And that will just cover up the elastic so you don't see it. Um, or you could do a similar thing to the front, is you can just roll it under like this and do a roll in the back. Throw your bobby pins in here wherever you can. And there you go, you can feel free to smooth out any hairs you want with any of your pomade, glosser, make it nice and smooth and shiny. And it's just so versatile. I mean, you can adjust it to any face shape, whether it be in the center of your face or leaving your hair down or pulling it up. It's just, it's so versatile and it's so easy to do. So now you have a gorgeous and personalized 40s inspired modern day updo for fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and if you learned something. And no, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube page and check out everydaystarlet.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join us next time.